Hey guys, Negative9 here, how is it going everybody, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about add-ons in Guild Wars 2. So a couple years ago I made a video entitled the top 5 add-ons for Guild Wars 2, and I've decided it's about time that I update this video as ArenaNet have loosened their reins on add-ons just a little bit. Guild Wars 2 still doesn't have nearly as many add-ons as World of Warcraft or Elder Scrolls Online, but there are some decent ones out there if you look hard enough. As of June 2017, all of these mods are completely legal and safe to use, but as usual, if you're watching this in the far off future, it's probably a good idea to double check. If you're someone like me who's been playing since launch, it's better safe than sorry. So let me talk to you about a couple of my favorite Guild Wars 2 add-ons. Now the first one is sort of an honorable mention because, honestly, it's not really my cup of tea, but I'm sure there are people out there that would find it very helpful, and it is called Guild Wars 2 Taco. Guild Wars 2 Taco is a complex tactical overlay that I think is a good starting point if you're trying to get into the add-on scene, but don't know what you really need quite yet. Like I said, it's a complex tactical overlay, and it takes the word complex very seriously, as there is a little bit of everything in this add-on. Guild Wars 2 Taco features a marker system in which you can create and place custom highlighted markers, camp flipping timers in World vs. World, a map timer for meta events and other world bosses, location-based timer for the zone you're currently in, team speak 3 integration, a tactical compass, range markers, a mouse highlighter, daily progression tracker, and custom notes. So that's a lot of things. Also, with this add-on, you can download visual guides to jumping puzzles, bosses, and about anything else you can think of. And of course, there are plans to add many more features in the future. I would definitely recommend this add-on if you are the type of person that wants to streamline your gameplay and be as efficient as humanly possible, something I know quite a lot of people in our community will be into. So now let's get into some of the proper add-ons that I use on a daily basis in Guild Wars 2. The first is BDGM, and it's basically a damage meter. And damage meters are something that Arena has tried to keep out of the game for a while now for a number of reasons but mostly because Guild Wars 2 is built around cooperation and because it's generally a pretty casual game compared to other MMOs at least. ArenaNet are very afraid that if they allow damage meters, people will start being very particular about the people they allow into their raid and fractal groups in an attempt to weed out the less experienced or less accomplished players. For instance, if a new player decides he wants to try out raiding, it's probably not going to be fun if you're instantly kicked from every group because you're not performing at optimal efficiency or whatever. I understand the concern from ArenaNet, but personally I think it's a bit silly, and people who want to be jerks to new players will probably find other ways to be jerks anyways. So BDGM is mostly used as a personal DPS meter, so you can see how much damage you're doing and so you can be the judge of how well you're playing. For more experienced and serious players, this is really helpful and it's something that the community has been asking for for a long time. So if you'd like to be able to see exactly how much damage you're doing to your opponents, this is definitely the mod for you. And now my other favorite add-on for Guild Wars 2 is GemFX slash SweetFX slash Reshade. So, this is my all-time favorite add-on in Guild Wars 2. Um, so these add-ons you can use together or individually, but essentially all three of these programs make your game look a heck of a lot better. Guild Wars 2 is 5 years old now, and parts of the game look a little bit bland and slightly outdated. So these post-processing tools allow you to alter and customize almost every visual aspect of your game that you can imagine. Things like saturation, sharpness, lighting effects, bloom, curves, levels, all that good stuff is now customizable. I do know that with SweetFX you can download user presets, so if you don't want to mess around with all these settings yourself, um, that is certainly an option. So I use this add-on literally constantly, and you can see my custom reshade set up in almost any one of my Guild Wars 2 videos. That's why they may look slightly different than anyone else's. This is definitely my number one add-on for Guild Wars 2, and I highly recommend it to everyone. It really adds a whole new level of visual depth, and it just makes the game really refreshing to look at, and that's always a good thing. So all of the links to these add-ons will be in the description below if you want to try your hand at any one of these add-ons and see what they're like for yourself. So I hope this video has been helpful. Um, I really appreciate the feedback and the support, and I will see you guys next time.